<clears throat> ladies and ladies, I'm here tonight on the show to um, talk about Quinn Snyder of the Utah Jazz. Um, stepped down last night, or whenever it was reported, I think it was um, today, yesterday. Um, Quinn Snyder um, had a news conference, I believe it was today. And he's stepping down as the Utah Jazz head coach. Um, he guided the franchise to uh, six consecutive playoff uh, appearances with NBA Coach of the Year finals last year. Won nearly 60% of, the, of, uh, of his games with the team. I mean, this is, I didn't expect him to step down. I either expected him to step down or go to a new team. There was like rumors of the Lakers. And I find this a little bit interesting after the Lakers hired uh, Dar Darvin Ham to be the, the head coach. A little bit interesting then Quinn Snyder decided he was going to step down. And uh, from reports, um, they desperately wanted him to stay. The uh, Utah Jazz CEO, um, Danny Ainge, desperately wanted um, Quinn Snyder um, to stay. But he ultimately decided to step down. Um, the Donovan Mitchell, apparently, from reports, uh, from um, so, some sources, um, wasn't happy. Um, and they, they still aren't willing to trade him. I ultimately think it's gonna, he's gonna get traded. I don't know where to wear. Every team says this, oh, they're not gonna trade that star player. They're gonna trade Donovan Mitchell. I just, you can't run it back with that team. I, I'm sorry. But, from this report, um, and they expect, and they, and they're now gonna face unexpected search for a new coach. I bet they just didn't expect Quinn Snyder to step down. So they're going to have to hire a new head coach, and now they're going to have to have an unexpected search. And they they were prepared to enter the next season with Quinn uh, Snyder at the helm, and he unexpectedly stepped down after eight seasons. And they'd recently discussed an extension. He still had two years left in his contract. And they did not reach an agreement before he decided to step away. So, um, they had a, a talks of... Recently discussing an extension, but he still had two years left in his contract, and apparently he still decided to step down anyways. Um, really shocking. Um, I thought he was going to um, go to a new team, but apparently he's not stepping down. So we'll see what the Jazz do um, to find their, for their new head coach. Um, but yeah, until next time, I'll fight. Peace. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for watching that show.